whole point of being a part of the local church, of attending church, isn't having more education. It's about being transformed from the inside out, going from being unconvinced to being a wholehearted follower of Jesus. I mean, that's the point. <laughs> and so all of us are unconvinced in some place. So let's go way back here and say, well, I don't believe Jesus exists. Okay, that's unconvinced. Okay, then you want that person to believe give their life to Jesus, believe he exists, believe he died on a cross for their sin. That's one point. But there's lots of people who go to church, they believe Jesus exists, they die on a cross, they rose from the dead, they believe he is their savior, but they're not convinced he's the best answer. They're not convinced he's the solution. They're not convinced he's the best way to live their lives or that his principles are the best way to, uh, to manage their marriage or the best way to manage their business or whatever we're talking about. They're not, just because you're at church, they don't mean you're convinced of all the things the Bible wants you convinced of. I mean, we're not convinced that, that God can do all the things he says he can do sometimes. We're not convinced that he can take the person who we believe is far from him and draw them to himself and turn their heart and change them so they, they want to seek after him. We're not convinced that he can answer prayer. We're not always convinced that the Bible is true or the Bible is alive and active like it says it is. We're not convinced that if we'll choose biblical principles over the principles of the culture we live in, that it'll be a better outcome for us. We're not convinced. We're not convinced that it's important that we engage or it's important that we, whatever the thing is, just because I am the pastor of a church doesn't mean I'm always convinced of something the Bible says. So for all of us, it's not, I got saved, therefore now I am now transformed. It's that I'm beginning the process of transformation. And for the rest of my life, the local church should be about helping all the unconvinced areas of my life experience the transformation required so I can be a wholehearted follower of Jesus. And let's just say there's 80% that you get there's 20% that, yeah, I'm not really convinced of that. I'm not really sure God does it that way. I'm not really sure that God can answer this or God can resolve this. Okay, then I can be the pastor of a church. And I can believe the 99% of the information. But for the 1% I'm not convinced of, I still need to experience transformation. And God's going to keep working on me. Because the goal isn't to be a church attender. The goal is to be a wholehearted follower of Jesus. Now, wholeheartedly is a different word. It's like, I follow Jesus, yes. Is it wholeheartedly? Just think that for a second. I know you love him, quote, quote. I know you want to follow him. Okay, are you a wholehearted follower of Jesus? Or do you follow him up into the place you don't want to anymore? 